Hello everybody, my name is Elfmine, and today I'm going to be playing some Hollow Knight, but uh, here's the kicker. That was the kick drum. I'm currently using drums right now to control everything in the game. Um, so I'll just hit new game quickly, and then uh, I'll explain everything right now while there's a bunch of cutscenes, and I'll probably also uh, put up a little thing to show you what everything is. So I so if I were to hit the low tom, it'll move me right, high tom left, uh, middle tom is up. Um, low, the snare drum is down and it's also the nail so I can pogo off of things. The um, ice would be the um, crash symbol on the left, at least the symbol that I have on the left is left click which I usually use for the nail. Um, the right symbol on the right is the what I usually use for dashing. Um, and then the hi-hat is just for spell, or yeah, the, normally just the hi-hat is for spells. The pedal I uh, use to heal, and then if I hit both the pedal and the hi-hat at the same time, it'll open my inventory. And if I didn't say this yet, the kick drum is to jump, so I'll be able to show it off right now that I got into the game. So every time I hit the low tom right now it is, um, it'll move me just a little bit. And uh, I have it set so it holds down the key to move um, for just a little bit at a time instead of um, just tapping it um, because if it's not held down, it won't. Um, it'll, it'll move me, but it will barely move me at all. So it really won't work very well if I don't, unless I have it the way I have it set up. So. Uh, that's just how I'm going to be moving throughout the game. Uh, it's probably also good to note that this is the first YouTube video that I'm actually making and putting on YouTube, so... I mean, hopefully you can expect good quality from it, but um, just know that anything that I may be doing wrong is probably because of that. I do remember getting some advice from my mom that it uh, was uh, first time you do anything, don't let people know that it's the first time you're doing it, because then they might just think worse of you. So I already messed that up, so that's good, I guess. Um, but yeah. So we're already almost through King's Pass. Well, I guess I'm gonna try to get the Fear of the Fallen because I have this um, snare drum set up in a way where I can pogo. I tried this a couple other times, but then the recording was just kind of weird and didn't work properly. So um, this is, I guess, the fourth attempt I'm already making. Um, hopefully it works this time, and if it works then that's great and that's what you're watching right now. Uh, but as you can tell from just this jump alone, it's not really easy to beat this game, or really to play this game is the main thing, uh, with using drums instead of a, like a keyboard and mouse is what I'm used to, or like controller or whatever you play with. If you play with a MIDI keyboard, um, you're pretty weird because what any what person would use an instrument to play a game besides me because I just decided to do this and put myself through this but I don't know why it's not working right now to maybe if I space out hitting the drum okay um I almost got it there we go Unless there's maybe just something wrong with the programming that I did. Oh, that's also something I should mention while I'm still in King's Pass. Um, the software I'm using for all this is Bohm, if you're familiar with that. That's about all I know about it, other than how to set up um, a drum as a controller. So if you want to try this out for yourself, um, I... I might make a tutorial on this in the future if people actually watch me play this, but otherwise I'll just uh, let you look up your own tutorial. Um, I also have a, I guess it's D drum, electric drum set, so that's what I'm using to play the game. Yeah. Dang it. So this is going a lot worse than I was expecting it to. There might be something wrong with what's how I have it programmed. I don't know what it would be though. There we 
There we go, finally. Actually, since I only have two masks right now, I'm just gonna skip Fear of the Fallen. And, um, well, actually, no, I'll try to get it. However, first, I'm gonna switch over. There we go. Hopefully, it's working better now. Um, I'm using. Oh, now it's just laggy. I, I just switched over to a different uh, preset I had that should do the same thing, but it, I guess it didn't. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, well, now we're back here. I'm just going to cut out to where I get back to the part of um, doing the nail pogos to get to Fear of the Fallen. Okay, I'm back here now. Um, so I do want to get Fear of the Fallen just because uh, it'll make it easier for hopefully the false knight fight because I'm using drums. It's already an easy enough fight as it is usually, but um, it's not easy when you're using drums. So... Oh, dang it. So hopefully Fear of the Fallen will make it just a little bit easier. Okay, that worked. So now we have Fear of the Fallen. First charm of the game, which it's usually really easy to get, uh, especially for somebody that's gotten as far as me in the game, which as you saw, if you could have seen earlier, I uh, got 1-12% completion on a normal file and 100% completion in Steel Soul mode. The one thing I haven't done is beat the Pantheon of Hollow Nest, but I'm just going to cut back right now to where I was before so I don't have to, so you don't have to watch everything. Okay, anyways, we're back. Um, so, um, this is the end of King's Pass. Now I'll be able to go to Dirtmouth and do the most important thing in the game of talking to Elderbug, because, I mean, if you don't talk to Elderbug, there's probably something wrong with you. I should probably start jumping now because it's way faster to jump through. Um, dirt mouth than it is to walk through it because you walk, you walk slower in dirt mouth than other places. Oh, they're traveling. I'm afraid that I'm actually not going to listen to all this because the important part is talking to Elderbug, which I did. Okay, so now um, I can equip Fear of the Fallen. Okay, so hopefully now if I do hit uh, one mask, it'll be a little bit easier to get through everything. Um, I'm planning on not getting one mask, but you never know what happens, and it might just help me if I'm in a pinch, so I'll just keep that charm equipped. Also, um, one plan I have for this series is uh, just to try to get through everything as fast as possible. Uh, I don't really want to spend too much time uh, going to, from like one place to another. I'm gonna basically treat it like a speedrun, uh, and then later on I'll go back and powder, power up and get all of the uh, grubs and everything. I might like get the grub that's right before the false knight fight just because it's right there. Um Okay. Also my commentary might be a little lacking in situations like this because I'm using drums to control everything and also I'm just not the best at talking yet. I didn't think he'd be able to get me. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got through that. Um, I also just skipped past Cornfer because um, I already know the map pretty well anyways after playing this game so much. So I'm probably not going to get any maps and it also will take a while to go into maps and um, also 
I'm probably not going to be using Wayward Compass partially because it uses up a charm slot that I can use for other things. And more importantly, I feel like it's just too overpowered um, in this game. And I wanted to make this a challenge run. Where And if I used uh, Fear, uh, not Fear of Fallen, uh, Wayward Compass, I feel like it would just kind of negate all challenge in this game. Like, I know it's, it's known as a hard game, but when you know about Wayward Compass, it... It basically turn, like, turns this from the Dark Souls of Metroidvanias to, like, I don't know, Pumpkin World. So, I'm probably not going to get Wayward Compass, and I'm probably not going to need any maps either. Uh, I've also seen quite a few speedruns of this game, so I do know the... Well, not exactly the optimal route, because they do some weird tricks where um, you can skip things and not worry about everything in the game. But now we made it to the first stag station. Um, I'm gonna open it up just so that I don't have to do it later. Uh, because I'm definitely gonna be traveling here. But I'm not gonna ring the bell or anything. I don't need to go anywhere else because the only other place I can go is uh, Dirt Mouth and there's nothing there besides Elder Bug. Which I mean, that's really all you need though, right? Like, I feel like that's what gives this game its charm is Elder Bug. Um, just the fact that you have Elder Bug in this game really. It really just makes the game what it is. The like the graphics are always praised, of course. Well, not always praised, but I feel like that's one of the main things people are praising with Elder Bug is, um, or not with the Elder Bug, but about the game is how well Elder Bug is made. He's just a cool dude, really. Well, not just a cool dude, you know, but like, yeah. Okay, so we're almost to the False Knight fight. And just have to destroy these husks, and then finally get over to the False Knight fight. Okay, so right up here, and we'll be at the fight. And then I'm probably going to stop this uh, first episode right after I beat the False Knight, because I, it's just a good stopping point. Uh, and then after that second episode, I'm probably going to try to uh, get to Green Path and do stuff in there. But for now, I'm just going to try to focus on this fight, try to do too much combat. Well, maybe try to do a lot of combat, because that's how you get better is with practice. Oh, okay, that's one second. I just got a message saying that the software I was using um, has two minutes until it will run out of time, so I'm just gonna... Okay, and we're back. Um, I did have to use the keyboard to pause the game, but uh, I don't think that's really that big of a deal right now. And also, I don't know, I don't really have any other way of pausing the game, <laughs> so um, we're just gonna hop right back into it. So the, the version of Golden I'm using is like a free trial version. Oh, got one hit in, that's good. Um, so every 20 minutes it will uh, expire and then... Uh, well, I'm going to expire, but I have to refresh it every 20 minutes. It's not something where I'm like exploiting something. Like it says uh, when uh, you start it up in the free trial version that you'll have to refresh every time so they know that this is something people do. It's not like I'm cheating the system or anything. But I do plan on uh, possibly buying the full version uh, later on, maybe. That will probably if I actually get somewhere with the YouTube channel because um, uh, restarting in the middle of recording kind of sucks and really just in the middle of a boss fight uh, is the worst part about it. Okay, so, um, 
this was so far the first episode. Well, actually, I didn't cut it off here yet because, um, the, I, I think I'm gonna end it off in the, um, whatever it's called, the next place I'm going to. Why can't I think of the name now? Um, Ancestral Mound. Because there's a bench there, and then I'll be able to save, and, uh, more importantly, uh, leave, or start where I left off in the Ancestral Mound in the next episode. But yeah, this, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, um, hopefully it's entertaining and also interesting. More importantly, um, I, it's just a good challenge, I think, um, because, I mean, who has, who else has beaten Hollow Knight with drums? It's already known for being a pretty hard game, as long as you're not using, um, Wayward Compass, that is. Um, yeah, so it's, hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, please remember to smash like and subscribe and all the other things that youtubers are required to say nowadays um, Only a certain percentage of people have subscribed or whatever dream says uh, And yeah, I'm at this bench. So thanks for watching